we're going to have to do this class clickerless. No, that's the microphone. It's somewhere around here. It's fine. Ready, guys? And we are starting. Oh, no, this is not good. Let me just do this. Now you guys can see yourself better. Hello, everybody. Hello, on the street. Hello, people here. Right here. We're going to be doing things today. We're going to be doing choreo. We're also going to do uh, quite a heavy warm up. My goal is to finish choreo today. So if you guys do not know it, we're going to do the best we can. Yes, Lee? Yes, you got it. You got it. So we're going to go through that today. Second degrees, I will be doing year four uh, on a Tuesday class or on a Tuesday Zoom lesson coming up soon here. With all that being said, let's get started. Chariot. Good yet. To get started, I want you to put your feet don't length apart and bring your knees in. Bring your knees in. We're going to start just bringing them up normally, but eventually we're going to be doing a cross. Almost like you're marching towards something. Back and forth. I'm addicted to my clicker. I need it. I, <laughs> I can do this without it. I'm a good instructor, and then I panic. I'm like, I'm not a good instructor. I need my special tools and assistance. Tail kickers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen to Bane back there. He's, he knows what he's talking about. Say that again, Ian. It is hard to eat with this mask on. If it was easy to eat with this mask on, I would be questioning how you eat things. All right, and outside crescents. Now, is Alex watching right now, Lindsay? Okay, Alex hasn't said anything, but I trust that he is. Alex, if you're doing this, make sure that you are not sitting down in your chair in your room eating popcorn. Drinking chocolate milk, that works too. Okay, and back and forth. And inside crescents. Now, I've shown you guys how to do this several times, but let me show you a variation of this. Instead of doing this, you're gonna stick it out in front and circle. Outside crescents, you do the same thing, so that's something else that you can do on this. If you wanna keep and get a little bit of a better stretch out, keep your leg out and circle. So instead of going here, or just doing this, you can go here in a circle and keep it there. It really warms up your eye. Uh, <laughs> uh, either way, either way. And hip circles. I do this every time to warm up class, but uh, we're going to do a different style of warm up today. All right. So today for warm up, we're going to practice some of the things that we were working on last class. As a reminder, as you guys do your hip circles, we worked on our jab crosses, our jab cross hooks, our oh, yeah. reverse jabs. Today, we are gonna go jab cross, jab cross on my heel. I'm gonna be changing these combos, but right now, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So on my key up, you're gonna be hopping, I up, one, two, three, four, key up on your last punch. Ready? Hop Ready. up and down. Make sure you guys have your hips Position forward. We're not in this Taekwondo stance today. We're here. Ready? Aya! Yeah. Oh. Jab cross, jab cross. Aya! Yeah. Oh. Aya! Yeah. So, Max, open your hips up more. Don't keep it locked. Keep it open. One, two. Ready? Aya! Yeah. Aya! Our new combo is going to be 
Cross, jab, cross, jab. Do this with me. Everybody take a step forward. Back. Do it again. One. Back. Again. One. Back. Now go one and cross. So it's almost like we're faking the jab and landing our cross immediately. Ready? Go. Cross. Back. Go. Cross. Back. Now go cross. Jab. Cross. Jab. So when we do this, it's one, two, three, four. On my key up. Ready? Ah! Yeah! Oh, she'll do, she doesn't do double push-ups at the end of the warm-up. 
Ready. Pump. All going down. And. Like, 
I just heard it stuck in fourth class, but I may have looked at the wrong thing. Um, then you guys, you can have extra. But at the end of the day, we need choreo, so let's do it. Stand on that yes, sir. So, the, our form today is to get through all the way through. I'm gonna be going quite fast. If you guys don't stick with me, that's fine. But try your best to stay at the same pace. Yeah, Jimmy. Now, choreo position, choreo, hmm. Choreo Pumse's ready position. You're gonna bring your hands in and shoot it out. My thumbs are out on this one. In Guan Game, my thumbs are tucked. On this one, my thumbs are out. I'm making a triangle that's at my eyebrows, and I'm looking through it. Now, never mind my clicker right here, right? I'm trying my best to hold it and have my thumbs out. All right, so the first move is I'm gonna tuck my front leg and go into a deep back stance yeah. and land a knife hand guarding block. Yeah. So let's go back, let's do those first two moves. Ready? Shoot. Begin. Hi. Aya. One more time, ready? Go. Hi. Aya. From here, we're gonna do two side kicks. One low, one high. I want you to tuck really nicely on the first one. Second one, shift, hit high. Ready, so we're gonna go. Knife hand guarding block. One, two, land in the front stand. Okay, let's go back. Hands up. Ready position. And begin. Hey. Oh, go. Front stance. Now, you may have seen when you do the next move. As you land in this front stance, we're also doing a knife hand chop into a reverse block. So after the side kick, I should chamber my hand so I can nail this and twist it. Go back to me. Let's do that full section. Ready? Begin. Hi. Oh. Now, from here, I'm going to take my front foot, my right foot, check, inside block. Now, I say check, I will always like to check. It's actually just a shift. But this shift is very heavy. So I'm going to go to this punch real fast and freeze. There you go. Step with your right foot in, inside. Back hand is tucked in here. Common mistake is keeping it out here. Bring it back. What's the end of the horse stance? This is a back stance. And back. Two. Go back to your spot. Choreo ready position. Sija. So as we do this, a couple things I want to shout out before we begin. I really want you guys to nail this form. I come down here, I'm going to do two side kicks. Slow, back, land, strike, one, two, shift, inside. See how this rotation chambers, so if I'm doing it towards you guys, one, two, top punch, this rotation slams this hand back, this hand in. This is a very powerful inside block. Chumbi, ready position. Sija. Ah! Now freeze. Now I'm going to take my front foot, turn around, and do the same thing on the other side. Now I can't guard. Slow. Fast. Chop punch. Inside. Perfect. Chumbi. Now, um, I would say choreo is very famous for the control it has in the form. So when you're landing, everything is very succinct, everything is very powerful, but everything at the end of the day is controlled. Every movement is slow and concise or fast and accurate. So I want you to think about that as you go forward, really nail each move. Have that power, but have that control as well. To me, Choreo ready position. Begin. Ah! All right, go back. Let's do this one a bit slower and we'll take some time on it. Ready? Choreo ready position. Seja. First move, go. Aya! 
our next two moves are slow side, low, fast side, high. Ready? Go. Now as you come in here, step, chamber hand back. Front foot, twist around, into our night hand guard. Now, slow side, fast side. Chop, punch, step in, inside. Okay, I want you guys to do this two more times by yourself. TV? I know the whole form. I know you do? Lizzie knows the whole form. Josiah, David, do you guys know the whole form? No. No? Okay, then we'll take some time on it. If you know the whole form, I'm going to correct very specific techniques on these ones. Things that Master Miller would correct and give you a mistake if you were at a test. Ready? Choreo, ready position. And C jump. Good front stance there, Ash. It is in front of your face and your back hand is tucked. All right, once you're done, stand in Addy's position. All right, so the most common mistakes I was seeing in that section were kind of twofold. One of them was on the kicks, and the second one was on that landing. So on the kicks, as a reminder, you want to chamber the first one really well. If the second one you just raise and go fast, that's fine too. But, you know, let me go this way. As I do this, it is tucked in, slow, strike. Very concentrated in one, two, three, walk. So that's your pacing. Walk, you're here. One, two, three, walk. Land in this front stance, top at the same time. So some people really know that, some people are like, okay, where am I going? One, two. This inside stops at your face. Doesn't go all the way over here, here, but the back hand really retains. Let's do that whole part together one more time, and then we'll move forward. Okay. Corey, you ready? Position. People at home, just let you know, I'm going the opposite way than you're probably going. For the people who are stuck at this, um, you should be going left, but I'm demonstrating it um, my left. Your guys is right, so these guys can follow along well. Ready? Mm. Begin. Six. Ah, slow. One, two, three. Quick. One, two. Inside. Wait. Increase. Everybody's good. Right hand guard. Slow. One, two, three. Jump. Strike. Top punch. Inside. Now we're going to take our left foot going to a front stance forward. From here, we're going to go low block. Next strike. I'm cupping. It's slightly down here. So now, I can't really point the camera at Lindsay too much here, but look at Lindsay's hand. See how it's kind of arced down a bit? That's what you want. You're striking right above the Adam's apple there. How would that feel, Josiah? Painful. Say that again? Painful. Very painful, yes. So, go one, two. Now, step forward into a front stance. Chamber. One, two. What? We'll get there, man. There's six. I always mess that up. Go one, two, sorry. Let's go back to right here. That's my back. Inside block. Turn. Low block. Strike. Now I'm going to do a back leg front kick. Land. One, two. Again, kick. One, two. Let's go back and do that section one more time. Low block. Low block. Yes, back leg. To go right here to the inside block. And begin. One, two, kick, one, two, kick, one, two. So as my left foot's forward, my right foot is not going to kick this time. It's going to step into a front stance. So from here, I'm going here. If I'm doing this backwards, I just did my one, two. I'm going to step. I'm going to keep my back hand, or sorry, my right hand. I'm going to grab somebody's heel. Take my left hand and snap it in the attack. This is concentrated. Don't jump your hand all the way up here. Keep it by your elbow. Because again, you don't want to suck your elbow over here. So ready? 
Let's go to right here. We just did our low strike. Step forward with your right. Grab. Uh. There you go. So you're grabbing and it's open because I'm putting my hand on their kneecap on this and then snap it. Right. So, so, what's this hand doing? This hand grabs their heel, hooks it. This one puts it on top of the knee and snaps the leg. Yeah, yeah. Painful move. Painful for Let's go on back, go back to your spots, and let's do this again. I know, I know. You guys are doing great, though. Go to, uh, we'll just actually start from the beginning. Ready position? Begin. Aya! Slow fast. One, two. Inside. Turn. Slow fast. Now, go to uh, front stance, the foot. Low, strike, kick. Low, strike, kick. Low, strike, step, break. Now, my goal is to finish the form, so I'm going to go a little bit faster. What? There's no kick here, I promise. I am 100% promise. Go to right here for me. I'm sure Master Miller is watching right now to type that in chat, but I'm positive there's no kick there. Take your left foot, spin around, and we're gonna sway up into a wedging ball. Right away, this did not take a lot of teaching. Let's go back. I want you guys to watch me real fast, although you guys got down well. My hands are gonna become X's as I swing up here. So I spin around here. If I'm doing this backwards here, my hands become X's, I swing up our wedging block. So let's go to right here and let's do it again. Ready? Yes, sir. Right foot's forward, left foot's back, spin. Now, back leg, front kick, step forward. Now we're going to do that same knee back break, but we're going to do it back. Hey. So instead of doing this concentrated, slow, really make you feel it, we're just going to snap. So I'm grabbing with my front foot, snap. Now I step back into a walking stance and go back to this wedging block. Let's do that entire section again. I know it's a lot, it's a lot. Go to right here for me. Ready? Front foot comes through and spins around, wedging ball. Kick, step forward, strike. There you go, you got it, man. Step back, wedge. Let's do that one more time, because this is a complicated move. It only gets easier from here. Yes, Mr. Henry. Ready. Go to your right foot forward. Knee break. Step through. Wedging block. I'm going to do this one backwards. Go. Kick. Step down. Knee break. Back up into your wedging. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to do the entire form up that point. I'm going to do it backwards. You guys are going to do it forwards. Oh, Choreo ready position. Ready? See go. Hey. Slow. One, two. Inside. Turn. One. Kick. One, two, three, four. Inside. Low. Strike, slow it down to kick, guys. I know you guys don't well. Kick, low, strike. It's fine, we'll, we'll catch up. Kick, low, strike, step, knee brace. Swim around, wedging block. Kick, step down, break, wedge. Now, it seems like we struggled with that part a little bit, so we're going to go through it a couple more times slowly. Are you guys ready? Go back to your spots. Yes, Lindsay. These counts as choreo counts. Liam, we over your butts. Ready? Trivia? Okay. Ready? And choreo ready position. Sita. Aya. One, side, side, top, punch, inside, left foot, punch to a front stance, one, two, 
Go back. Back foot comes forward. There you go. Low strike, kick. Low strike, kick. Low strike, step forward. Knee break. Now swim around into your waking block. Kick, step forward. Strike. Back, here. Okay, let's go back and do that again. I know you guys are tired. I'm not oh. almost to our stopping point. <laughs> yes, I'm not. You're not tired at all? You won't keep talking me. Ready? Ready position. Let's do this one. Full powerful intensity, and then we're going to slow it down in this next part. <laughs> Ready? C jump. Jump! Knife hand. Side, side. Drop punch. Inside. Mm. Low. Strike. Kick. Low. Strike. Kick. Low. Strike. Step. Swim through. Up. Step in. Kick. Sorry. Strike. Back. All right. Everybody go back to your spots. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. I'm not going to demonstrate this four, or demonstrate that the next seven moves four. Oh, I'm doing this, stay in the 90s, relax position, shift. So, I just did my kick, knee break here. At this point, I'm going to turn into a single knife hand guard to my left. I do that by taking my right hand, aiming it, taking my left hand, and can get by my ear. As I do that here, you can see the cross and the rotation to it. To do it here, it just looks funny, right? Single knife hand guard. At this point, I'm going to turn, flip it, punch. As I punch, I'm going to cross that. I'm going to take my back knee, tuck all the way in, kick, strike down in the front space. I'm going to demonstrate that again. Now when I do this, it's important that I'm really chambering all these moves. The biggest mistake I always see on choreo is people going here, just going straight out, and then doing the side kick and just raising their leg up. I have pulled my hamstring before because I didn't properly chamber this kick. Our legs don't want to move that way. So let me demonstrate it one more time. Here, I point, single knife hand guard. Flip. Bring my knee in. Execute it out. Front stance. Down. This is our stopping point for today. Lindsay, all of that account is probably like eight for you. So, let me go right here for me. So, take your right leg, take your right hand, and your right foot. Point it out and step back. Oh, here. Now keep it pointing this way. Go back. Go here. Take your right hand. Right foot step here. Do that a couple of times. This up to my hand. Two. One more time. Two. Now, as you do this, point, take your left hand, cover your right ear. Step into the bed. Don't do your full move then. You're near I'm doing it for you. Yes, this is not here. I'm doing it. What the movie is? I'm sorry, I missed out. So I'm doing. Yes. Oh, so I start this way, or am I yeah. starting like that? You're starting now. Start this way. Yes. My right hand. Right hand covers that. Left hand covers here. Left hand covers here. Then I'm gonna bring it out and go oh, into a pose. Oh, that's that's here. Okay. So the reason why I teach you guys this is because this is a very powerful move. It's not almost like a sharpening. When done right, you can really show off here. This is where people win tournaments with this ball. Hmm. It's on that side kick, on this double rotation deep stance down. So right here. There's actually quite a few moves that can be really emphasized, which is why this is a great, great tournament for them. Go. Now flip it sideways. Punch. Cross. Take your back leg. And now you may see that my foot is pointed backwards already. 
That helps us move. If you can't do that, maybe you have bad knees, you can point this way. But make sure that when you do kick, you're rotating out and power. So I can do this, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna tuck my back leg, side kick. Land in my front stance, grab, strike. So let's do that again. Ready? We're here, chungi. Now turn around. Go to right here. I know, I know, I know. Left foot is slightly forward in our long Single knife hand guard. Rotate. Punch step. In. Strike. Down. Nice. Let's do this one more time. It is a, a front stance. Yeah. Tuck your side kick. That's why it's so important to chamber here, Mr. Tarnisha, because if you go here and you just raise it, it's hard to land into this front stance. But when you over rotate on your chamber, it's just a simple step down. Yeah. Ready? Go back. Final time. Go. All right. So, Jimmy, at this point in time, we are going to go through the form together. However, once you reach a spot that you do not know, you're just going to stand in Addy's position and wait till everybody else finishes. We're going to do it full power twice. So, Lindsay, the entire form this time, I'm going to do it with you. Uh, otherwise, not, we have full power all the way through. Uh, if you only know up to where I showed you, stop there, go to Addy's. Mm. If you need to fix your former uniform, do it now. Two times. Face okay. front. Ready position. And C jump. First move. Oh! Okay. Next. Top punch. Inside. Rotate. 
Step through. Bring your foot backwards. Knee in. Kick. Down in a front stance. Everybody who only knows up to that point, stand in that ease. If you know the rest, do the rest. Ready? Go. Slow it down just a little bit, Lindsay. probably got quite a bit out of this. There is a lot of things that you can work on. If you are a candidate or a second degree, you may be thinking, Master Nick, these small details don't matter. Probably not a million words, but it's okay. They do matter. <laughs> Trust me when I say, when you guys go for your second degree black belt or third degree black belt, you're going to have to do this form. And they're not looking at it in terms of if you were a normal first degree. You need to get through this form with three or less mistakes, and they can be very difficult. There's a lot of fine, intricate detail snuck into these forms. It's not as simple as one, two, three. There's all the rotation and counter rotation, and once you get it down, it will seem simple. But if you think it's easy, trust me, you need a little bit more work on it, because I don't think this is easy at all. I still make a lot of mistakes on it. So, stick with me, you'll have a lot of fun. But if you do think, hey, Pastor Nick, I still want to learn my things. I have a Zoom class specifically made for second degrees. It is tomorrow, Thursday. It will be at 8.15. It will be after the Black Oak class online. If you are a candidate, I have a candidate class coming up here. You're going to be learning some new things. Um, the Black Oak in that candidacy class will be learning uh, part of their new rotation. The Totem Bows, if you're a Totem Bow in a Black Oak class, congratulations, thank you for being here. But uh, the Totem Bows will be learning... Um, not part of their new rotation, but they're going to be working on something quite extensive as well. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to end class right here and right now. Okay. Hands by your side. Feet together. Try yet. Kunye. Hands your back. What's our goal? Black 